course, like normal club rules, you know, is <laughs> about the out of bounds stuff. Yeah, yesterday I was kind of paranoid being here flying, you know, but I just figured people would be nice, you know. Unlike our club, someone new comes up there is like, what do you want? What are you doing? <laughs> They're not very friendly. Oops. That said that on video. Some of them, but most of those are gone now. <laughs> it's like, we want new people. Time to start. Time to stop. I found that helps most of the time. I like it. It's the reason why the only timber I have is a Timber X Night Flyer. I just like it's perfect. It's got the right amount. It's light. Does stall perfect. I sort of scratched my timber. Went to a flying Going up. and they were doing an egg toss. And I didn't toss it so well. <laughs> oh, where you have a cup and you got to roll it out? Yeah. Time remaining, seven minutes. Yeah, I don't... I've never tried to do that. Yeah, we don't have any skills at our, at our fly-ins anymore. We used to when it was the other club. Because... The club I'm in now, they, they were at one stage. Well, they had two stage fields they flew at, and we had one. And about the only time we ever flew together was like when we had, one of the other clubs had events. And you come off flying on those big tarmacs, and it's hard. It's hard getting used to not having. Yeah, because I was just getting ready to start buying some more jets, and then we lost the field. Oh. We used to fly at the big place to run away with all the helicopters, right? Yeah. And then the other place that was all kind of chopped up. I don't know if that was. Right? Yeah, it was, it was. It was an old, yeah, an old wood mill. We called it Chernobyl. Because it, you know, it had it had um, ruined foundations and stuff. Yeah. That's where you kinda held, you know. Yeah, that's where we stood to fly and park. Yeah. But after when Hurricane Michael hit, the power company leased that from the people that owned it to store, you know, to pre-stage oh. equipment on. So they use that now for like whenever there's a hurricane or a storm or something. So we we can no longer fly there. That was perfect. That was a fun place. The runway wasn't all that wide or all that good, but Yeah, it was windy there, yeah. Time. I just, I liked it because, I don't know, there's lots of wildlife out there because they hunt out there. <laughs> you never know why you see a big old rattlesnake on the pavement and under the shade. <laughs> there's hogs. Or, we even think there was gators because, like, underneath the, the trees, there was, like, real deep water. And there's like a swamp areas out there and stuff, so I'm sure they had gators in it. Yeah, because my buddy lost a plane over in there and he had a four-wheel drive truck. We drove out there. It was like, there's no way you could get out and walk around and look. Going vertical in this end. It's all the power that I have. <laughs> yeah, I was going to change the motor out on this, but 
you know, put the same the same power system that's in the Hobby King Tundra, but I just got used to flying it. I said, I like this. Coming in. Nice, sounded nice. Does that does that have a lot of spring in it, uh, or a suspension, or? Yeah, not real bad. I mean, it looks like it would have more, but. Oh, is that the original tires? Yeah. Oh yeah, those things are Flintstones. There's a whole lot more travel with the spring, though. Yeah. Kind of kept it going. <laughs> what size battery do you use in that, Mark? Okay. Um, right now, I just got a 3S 2200. Oh yeah, 2200. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I flew. I flew this with an 1800 for the first time today. It was kind of nice. That was kind of the other thing. It's like, well, what battery should I charge? And then, <laughs> you know, well, and then what plane? It's just back and forth. So, like, yeah, there was, I'm there was, safe with 2200. there wasn't a whole lot of choice for me. Uh, oh, we got a tailwind there. Yeah, yeah, I felt like a, I felt a puff. Yeah, see, you getting a puff coming from over here. Yeah. Messed me up. No, I'm just joking. Man. I screwed up. <laughs> I could do a video of perfect landings if I wanted to, you know. <laughs> All right. Okay, Kenny. <laughs> <laughs> we got Keith. We got Jeff in the sun having fun out here somewhere in the middle of Cornfield, Iowa. No, <laughs> the Des Moines Aero Modelers Club. Having a good time. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Woohoo!